All right. So my very first step in graphing this inequality is making it into slope intercept form. And I do that by subtracting 2x to both sides. What could I do to get rid of the secret agent here, oh, Archangel? Divide. Divide by what? One, negative one. Now, what's going to happen to the inequality symbol, Angel? It's going to change. It's going to change direction. It's going to do this. And now you have a negative two over negative one. They become positive. And positive one divided by negative one is negative one. So my mountain is 2 over 1, and my beginning point is negative 1. Now the hard part. Michael, where am I going to start? Up, down, left, right? Down. And then what do I do from here? Samantha? First I rise, how many? One, two, and I run. Is this going to be a uh, solid line or a dotted line, class? Solid. 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 It's going to be solid. So I just do that. And now the part that drives everybody crazy. How am I going to know which side to shade? Archangel? What do we call that, zero, zero? It's a special name for it, Archangel. Point of? Origin. And why do I pick the point of origin and not like, uh, you know, five, one? Samantha? It's the easiest one to use. In fact, you could almost do it mentally. Let's go back to our equation. If, if I put zero here and zero here, this is going to be zero minus zero is zero. Is zero greater than or equal to one class? No. 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 So is this going to be a solution? No. So that means that all the numbers on this side are solutions. And if you wanted to make sure you did it correctly, you could pick like a one, one, uh, one negative one and see if it's true. All of these other points are going to be solutions to that inequality. All right, you can stop recording, Matthew.